Welcome to the second episode of $100 PC Flip Up Challenge. Now, before we get into the details, I want to speak about the current market. In my area, the market currently is in a really weird state. Like, not only it's way, way more difficult to sell everything, but the prices have gone up and you might think that the stuff would sell better for the same price because the prices have gone up, but some way the people are waiting and the market has just stopped basically. It's like, for me it feels even worse than what it was like in COVID times, which is weird. So besides that, I mean everything's been decent more or so, but getting deals has been way way more difficult as well. On top of that, we have got ourselves an issue or two, I'm gonna speak about that a bit later, but um, I'm trying to build a gaming PC and it's been really difficult because what we were able to build for $100 in the previous episode, we are struggling to build the same thing for $180 because everything has just gone really pricey. As for the computer that we are building, we're gonna talk about it, see what kind of deals we got, what the problem was, and hope you guys enjoy, I really enjoy making these episodes no matter how difficult and how many issues we get, I really enjoy this and hopefully you guys do too. So why don't we dive into the episode and see what we managed to find. Alright, we have finally sold the PC, honestly you guys, it took way longer than I wanted it to. But I like, I don't know what's going on with the market, but we have the money, the computer is sold and now I'm gonna think about, sit down and like see what choices we have because I really wanna build a gaming PC, not an office PC. But you know, I'll see what I can do, maybe we can flip some parts to, like in case we don't have enough money for the next computer, cause now this is uh, 600 Larry, which is about $220, plus we have 50 Larry saved. So in total we have just around 240-ish dollars. Plus we also, we still have this extension kit. So basically I'm gonna see what I can do with this. Maybe I can find a used computer, then find a GPU, get a good case and see what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. So a lot of time has passed since we sold our PC and I've been looking for deals because today's market is like... Man, I don't know what's wrong with the market because the prices are 40 to 50% higher but obviously people do not want to pay that much money for PCs which makes our job really difficult because like if I sold the PC way earlier, our PC from the first episode then we might have been able to build a PC with a GTX 1070 but uh, nowadays I can barely build a PC with a GTX 1050 Ti, that's what we have here in Force Gen i7 which is what I was planning on getting anyway with the GTX 1070. But honestly man, I don't know what's going on, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick update on what we have here and what we will be using to build our PC. Uh, this is H81 and uh, we have i7-4790S in here which we got from eBay. Uh, the motherboard is a local deal. I'm gonna give you guys the prices uh, here on the screen. I don't remember everything because I didn't film it. I was honestly <laughs> really sad and depressed because I couldn't really get any deals. Like the market is at its worst. Like for example, it was better in COVID times, but now Imagine, like now the market is in such a bad state in my area that I don't know what to do. Anyhow, that aside, here we have ASUS Cerberus 1050Ti 4GB version. This is a deep cool cooler AG200, gonna be more than enough for our CPU. Then we have our RAM that we got from Amazon. This is a 16GB DDR3 kit. We have a very simple power supply. Uh, the SATA cable, we got the SSD from AliExpress, it's a 500 gig SATA SSD. And then we have this case that we'll be building in. It's, you know, the regular case. Uh, it's a good case, I've been building in this case for a long while. Uh, it has uh, RGB on the front, we will be able to control it with the button right here. And then we have a LED fan here, it's a red LED fan, we can't really control it, but Hey, I mean, it's better than nothing. So this is what we have here. This is what we're gonna be using to build the PC. 
yeah just gonna roll the montage and hope you guys enjoy and we're gonna check the benchmarks right after we are done building all right so we have a bit of an update on our previous pc that we sold in our first episode now as you guys remember we have put this 500 gig hard drive and a 120 gig sata ssd in that pc now when I bought the PC with, with the set components, both of the components were working fine when I tested, when I built the computer, after the testing they were fine, but for some weird reason this component died in like, or, or started getting errors in like 3 days after the person started putting games on it. Well, I didn't necessarily fill this uh, hard drive up fully, I just put like 250 gig of uh, games on it. As for this SSD, I installed Windows on it, tested it, everything was working fine, but apparently this one my hard drive started dying, then this SSD started getting errors and I was like, man are you serious? Like, So I just went ahead, bought an SSD, well I had an SSD from AliExpress that's basically, that, that I basically get for 50 Larry, that is about what like 18 ish dollars USD so I basically uh, gave the person that 500 gig SATA SSD from AliExpress that I usually put in my builds I usually do not build with hard drives anymore I just I'm not a fan of hard drives in 2024 so we're gonna deduct 50 Larry from our budget which will leave us with a budget of 600 Larry which is honestly because I'm recording this after I bought the components thank god I had enough money for it Otherwise the series would have been a bit of a failure because the PC that I built, I built it for 600 Larry and I had 50 left. So I basically used those 50 Larry to replace these components with a single 500 gig SATA SSD, a brand new one, whereas these, both of these were used. So I guess that's better long term for the person. And um, yeah, I guess we have uh, no budget right now, but the PC is built, I'm gonna show you guys the process and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. For the benchmarks I decided to test 3 games of my choice, an FPS, an RPG and a racing game. Let's begin our benchmarks with CS2. We are running this game on medium settings, MSAA off at full HD resolution. Now we could just change the settings to either high for better visuals or to low for slightly higher FPS, but for me medium settings was a good middle ground between the performance and the quality of the game. At these settings I had around 120 FPS on average and it never went below 80, in some areas I even had upwards of 160 FPS depending on what was happening. Throughout this 10 minute deathmatch I experienced no stutters or lag of any sort so it was quite an enjoyable experience. Our next game is Need for Speed Heat. Now this game is a bit more demanding on the CPU so I thought it would be a great test to see how the computer would perform in a game such as this. Overall we had a stable 60 FPS, in areas where there were a lot of cars our FPS did go below 60 
but besides that we had a stable 60 to 70 FPS. Also I wanna point out that we are recording on this very computer, I do not own a capture card just yet, so I'm forced to record on the computers themselves, which slightly reduces our FPS. Unlike CS2, Need for Speed Heat is still enjoyable on lower FPS, so if you're one of those people that wants to play this game on higher settings, you're gonna have a great time because even at 30 to 60 FPS, the game still feels amazing. Our last game will be Witcher 3. I chose this game because most people more so know the performance of it and I felt like it was suitable benchmark for this computer. We are running the game on Full HD low settings with no upscaling methods and we are getting a stable 60 FPS. Occasionally it might drop below 60 if we enter a city or a village, but in combat where it actually matters, there were no stellars whatsoever and it was quite enjoyable to play it. In case we decide to turn on FSR, we're gonna get upwards of 70 or even 80 FPS if we set FSR to balanced which also opens the possibility of turning up the graphical settings. I forgot to test high settings with FSR on, but without it I had around 40 to 45 FPS, which means that we would have had around 60-ish FPS or higher if we set FSR to balanced. Considering the state of the current market, I'm quite satisfied with what we built. I really hope the prices come back down because I really wanna build computers for cheap. A lot of people have been asking me to build them a budget gaming PC, but I can't because everything is so damn expensive and I can't do anything about it. I personally never had a lot of money, so it feels really important to me whenever I get asked to build a budget gaming PC, because not only I can relate to it myself, but it just makes me so happy whenever someone is having fun on something that I created. I just love building computers, it's the only thing I wanna do and if I somehow manage to earn money doing all that, that's even better, I'll keep doing it forever. On that note, I wanna thank everyone for watching. Write down in the comments what do you think, share your thoughts because I really enjoy reading every single comment that you guys write. Thanks again for watching and of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.